In our part of the world, a piece of clothes will be worn about six times before it's thrown out. When it comes to dresses, it's even less. Maybe only two or three times, but they're not thrown out. Instead, they are hidden away in the closet. Why? Because you cannot throw out dresses. Why? Because there are too many memories woven into the fabric. You wore the dress to your brother's wedding, everybody saw it. Your dress was praised by everybody. So now you have a problem. You cannot throw it away, because it would be mean to the memory of the wedding. You cannot give it to Salvation Army either, for the same reason. Too many good memories stuck into the fabric. But you cannot wear it again either, can you? Everybody will say, oh, isn't that the dress from your brother's wedding? Meaning, don't you have anything else to wear? Are you in some kind of financial crisis? And every time you open your closet, your beautiful dress will look at you and say, don't you love me anymore? And you will answer, of course I love you. But your beautiful dress will reply, but why don't you wear me anymore? Because I have worn you one time, almost twice. But your beautiful dress will keep staring at you, saying, don't you love me anymore? And that's where I come in. Me, the savior of women's pre-loved dresses. <laughs> One year ago, I opened ReSecond, the first physical dress swap shop on the planet. A place where women can swap their pre-loved dresses with each other. You can't buy anything. There's no cash register or even money in the shop. You become a member for a small fee every month, and now you have your own shared walk-in closet. My dream is a re-second in every big city, so women can travel around the world and swap dresses with each other. And even more important, swap stories with each other. This dress has been dancing all night to my brother's wedding. Actually, I didn't know that the stories were so important when I started ReSecond. ReSecond was a dream and a vision. A dream in which you give to get where you think as a giver before you think as a taker. A place where women can recycle each, uh, the world's resources each other, with each other. But it turned out that I was opening something even more exciting, a storyteller shop for hundreds of dress stories. This dress has been dancing to my brother's wedding. When you bring a beautiful dress to the shop, you have to write the story of your dress on a hang label, which will be attached to the dress. This dress has been dancing with a famous rock singer. And this dress, my grandmother wore when she was a model back in the 50s. All the memories are attached to the dresses, so the other members know what story they wear. And when your beautiful dress has been dancing to another wonderful party, it can get back to all their friends in the walk-in closet, and they can say to each other, we were loved again. The Danish word for community is fællesskab, which directly translates into common closet. <laughs> <laughs> So ReSecond is even down to the very word common closet, the community. And as all of us want more stuff than the resources of this planet can offer us, there's only one solution. We can have it all if we share our, st st our stuff and the stories with each other. Thank you.